Today we're going to make one of these. These are, uh, we call it a, like we call it a lidded vessel or lidded, I guess because it's a lidded pot, we'll call it a, a lidded pot. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call it. Container, lidded container. And we're going to, it's thrown in one piece, so we're going to get it to this stage today. And then I'm going to go away for a few days and we'll finish it off. And I don't know if it needs a handle, if it just fits comfortably in our hand. We can decide that when we come back in a few days and finish it. Before we finish it, let's make it. All right, so I've already got this centered. And I'm just gonna open it up like it would anything else. Um, there's centering and opening links below there. Check it out. And I'm just pulling my middle finger to the palm of my left hand, going in and cleaning up the bottom a little bit. I got some schmutz in there. That's that technical pottery talk stuff. So now I'm just gonna pull both hands up. inside and start to pull. I'm going to pull a tall just straight up and down cylinder. And there's no rules to how big these are supposed to be. Is how big is your treasure box? I guess it depends on how big your treasures are. Mine are never all that big. So I'm just going to pull this up into a straight edge cylinder and I'm going to give it another pull. This is about I think 700 grams of clay. 700 grams would be, I don't know, some. <laughs> I live in Canada. Uh, so I've got the tall cylinder. I'm going to give it one more pull. And I'm just going to coax this up a little bit. And just thin it out one last little bit. There we go. So now i got basically the straight up and down cylinder. It's a little off at the top. If I don't like it, I get rid of it. So it sounds threatening to the man behind the camera. <laughs> he better be nice. Anyway, uh, straighten it out. And now I'm just going to leave it straight up and down. But I'm going to start just closing it in so it's completely closed. Now I've left some thickness to this pot. Um, it's easier to go through the process is going to go through if you don't worry about thin. I don't worry about thin that much in my pots. <laughs> anyway, I'm uh, just going to cozy that in. The top's a little off, but I'm not going to worry because I'm going to get rid of that in about two seconds. Not quite closed, just cozy it in with your fingernail there. Whoop. There, now it's closed. And the neat thing about this, it's a uh, it's a balloon now. It's solid. You can't, you can't knock it off center because it's got the air inside to hold it up. I'm going to tidy up the outside a little bit and get rid of that extra clay. And I always like to attach that back to the wheel when I do that. And you can run a rib up the side if you want. You can do a straight rib or a sponge or a flexible rib. I do like to use a rib when I'm throwing these. I'm not sure if I like the, the, the wooden one or the flexible one. You're allowed to like what you like. Use the, lip, the rib you want. So now I've got my enclosed form and it's, it's I'm not gonna hit it because I'm not, I'll make it all messy, but it is really, I'll do it when it's moving. You see, it's really, it's not gonna go anywhere. So I'm going to sponge that off again because I made it messy. But the air inside does hold it up. And with my clothespin, I'm just going to, clothespin works the best. I like these. I'm just going to hold the skinny pointier end and the fat end to decide where I want the lid. Do I want a, a long lid or a middle lid or really, that would be silly. Uh, about there. And then as it turns, as the wheel turns, I'm just going to push it into about the thickness I think the wall is and walk away from the pot. Now I'm going to sponge it off and tidy it, get rid of all of the messiness. I think I want to push that just a little bit more. Story of my life, just keep pushing. What could happen? <laughs> okay, I'm going to undercut that. And I'm going to take it off, take that excess off, run my stick under there, 
And now it's trimmed. I do a lot of trimming on the wheel this way. I don't put everything back on the wheel to trim. So now we're going to take that off. One trick with this is I'm not going to do it now, but after I take it off and it sits on the paper before you go home, I'll do it. You have to poke it with a needle. You just have to let, it doesn't matter where, I'm just going to do it right in the top here. Because what's going to happen is your clay is going to dry and it's going to shrink. And the air inside is not going to shrink and it'll cause your bottle to break. So what I like to do it when it's a little firmer. And so I'm going to undercut this and I don't want to open it up because the air inside will support taking it off. And I'm going to put it on there. Let it firm up for a wee while. And I could probably do it now. What could happen? Nothing. <laughs> we made these a couple days ago. I did go away and we're back now. And I'm going to make the one piece into two pieces. Before I do that, I'm going to trim it up. It's centered now and I'm going to trim it. Sometimes when you run the clothes pit in there, it knocks the top off center. So then you're just going to center the part you're going to trim and then center the next part you're going to trim. But it stayed on close enough that it's okay. And I'm just going to tidy up this bottom a little bit. When I'm making these, I like to trim the whole bottle. And I'm going to trim the top. Now before I divide it and make it two pieces, I want to talk about the, the knobs a little bit. Now when you're, you can just make them just a flat bullet. I kind of like them this way just without any knob. They just kind of, I don't know. But in this video, I'm going to show you a whole bunch of different ideas of, of knobs. And you use the one you like. If you think it looks great, you're absolutely right. So, okay, so we're going to talk about knobs. When I was throwing this and I was closing it in, I could make a knob then. Just don't take that piece off and just throw uh, as it closes in a knob. And that's one way of doing it. You can, as it closes in and squeezes together, you can make that part a knob. So I'm just going to cozy it in, do my six point cuddling, and keeping this in control, sort of. It got messy, I'll make it tidy. So this part coming in is going to stay on the top of the jar and be a knob. I'm just going to close it right off. go and then we can do a knob that way but as you see sometimes that gets messy that's pretty big <laughs> I don't think I like that um, sometimes it gets messy and you can make it tidy again but that's one way of making a knob but if you're throwing it and it closes off and it goes too messy to bring back you can always do it another way but I would do this knob before you cut with, before you push in with your clothespin because it always knocks the top off and it's harder to throw. So that's, so I would go ahead now and I, I would push it in with the clothespin and finish it off that way. But make your knob before you do the cutting because it, it will go all wonky. So, okay, so that's one knob idea. Sometimes when you're throwing that, it'll get messy and it's hard to get the knob out of it. And so you'll want to, you can throw a knob after off the hump and apply it later. If you want to throw a knob off the hump, it's just the same as throwing anything else off the hump, but just that the little ball is little. Um, I do have a video in the links below on throwing some bowls off the hump. And they're just the same, but they're bigger than this. There are a couple of ways you can you can make a knob, and any way you like is the good way. I'm going to center this, and I'm centering this just as I would center a big piece of clay. It's just smaller. Now the first knob I'm going to throw is just like a little bowl off the hump, just like a little knob. And I'm just going to throw the bowl and just make that little knob. And that would sit right on top of the jar. 
and tidy it up. Tidy it up. Chamois it, make it nice and smooth. And I cut it with my stick and take it off. So there's just a little, like a, a knob. And cut that off. Uh, you can make like a, a tall, thin knob. See, these are your handles. You can make them any way you like. Your aesthetic is correct. If you think it looks nice, you're absolutely right. So you have to like your work before anybody else does. So you can just make a tall, slender, like little knobby thing. I know that's more that technical pottery talk, but that's just a little slender knobby thing. That can be kind of cool. There are no rules. You can throw a round one or a tall one or a short one. You can throw like a, a ball of clay. Um, you can do whatever you like. <laughs> anyway, so you can see that could go on top of the bottle. Okay, there's throwing on the, off the hump for a knob to put on later. We'll, we'll put them on in a bit. You watch me make this one. Um, that one's pretty big. I would probably make that one smaller. I'm just going to put it on there and see if I can't. No, nope, that's not going to work. I have to make that one smaller and try to keep it flat that way. And you can make center marks and center that on there. And you could slip and put that little guy on there. I like, to, as I said, to apply all the knobs when they're one piece. Because if you're putting this and centering this on the wheel to make knobs on it, this skinny piece has to support all that work you're doing up there. And I don't think it might not survive. I've never tried. You could go ahead and let me know how it works and <laughs> tell me if it didn't in the comments below. So this, you watched me make that knob off the hump. And I made this taller, thinner one. I made this taller, thinner one. Again, that's pretty tall, and I don't like that at all. <laughs> but again, it's, it's your an idea. Another idea you can do is just um, make a knob, just a little ball of clay. Or you can, because it is one piece and it's secure, you can center a piece of clay on there. And notice I've got it pretty much centered before it goes on. And I like those round and center, center that little piece of clay. And then you could go ahead and throw the little bowl knob or, or the tall skinny knob or whatever you like. Or you can just throw, I could just a little knob knob. I know that's again more technical pottery talk, a little knob knob. And they don't have to be up and down the little knob knobs. They can be, you can bend them. And it kind of looks like a little acorn now. So there are no rules. The only rules, if you like it, I think I like the little acorn knob. I think I might leave that guy on there. Okay, so now I've got my knob on there. Also, I pulled a handle. Um, this, we'll put it on this one. I pulled a handle, and you can put it, I'm not going to leave it on, so I'm not going to score. And you can just do like a fun, I don't know, handle type thing on your, I don't like that. <laughs> That's why I didn't score it. Um, anyway, so I think I like the, the little acorn knob. So I'm going to get rid of all my trimming marks and smooth this off. Now I've got that other needle that's a little bit thinner. I like this one's a little sharp, a little thinner. I'm just gonna follow along where that clothespin was and you want to go slowly sometimes if you're going too quick it can jump right off and and get all bunged up and destroyed ask me how I know <laughs> anyway just go slowly let it be what it is like that okay so then I'm just going to tidy up a little bit in here I see I left some stuff behind now you've got a nice centered chuck and I've got a centered check. So you want to one level this so it's not crooked and centered in there. It should center. I did bung it up a little bit. You can tell if it's level 
by touching it this way. It's not level because the high part made a scratch, so we're just going to lower it a little bit. Another reason not to put a big knob on it because it will have to fit inside your pot. Okay, there's... Now I'm just going to trim it up a little bit. It's not that level. Oh, I don't like that at all. It's not level at all. These are kind of fiddly, but when you're done, they're kind of cool. That's not very level, but we'll make it work. I'm going to just trim this here. Trim it there. So I'm just going to trim this one more time here. And tidy it up. Now it should fit. And smooth that off a little bit. I don't want to get it wet because it'll stick when I put it on the inside. Ask me how I know. So now we should be able to turn this over and it'll fit right in there. And that's our little pot. It's a little wet. And if you want you can just make sure that's a nice smooth join from, from the bottom to the top. When you are making these cuts in the pot with your with your clothespin make sure you do it on the straight up and down because if you do it up here when you put your lid on it'll be too small and it won't fit so anyway so there we are one little, one little pot i'm going to let it dry out a little bit before i take that lid off if you like watching me make the little acorn pot, please hit the like button. It's the best way to support my channel. If you want to see me make more things, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. I would love to hear from you guys. And thanks ever so much for watching.